<clears throat> okay, everybody. I am just replaced my uh, Caterpillar with a Cummings. <clears throat> and uh, in order to change everything out, I'm having problems with my throttle pedal. And you have to go into the wiring harness, which is in the firewall, which is right here. And you have to change the pins out. Now the pins that you have to change out are 18, 19, um, let's see, we got 6, 9, and 10. 10 is a common. Um, you don't have to pull 10, you can splice into 10 on the wiring harness and I'm going to solder it. <clears throat> Let's see, I don't know if you can see where I'm working. This is inside the, see there's 10 right there where I'd soldered it together. But you have to have a special tool to remove the wirings out of the wiring harness. So what I did, I don't know if you can see, this is the tip of a fishing pole and I basically made a U-shape there's the eye of the fishing pole but I cut it out in order to remove uh, these pins right here right here there's the pin that you got to pull out of the wiring harness and I'll <clears throat> I'll show you how to do it. I haven't found anything on um, YouTube to show you how to do the pins. I had to research it and figure it out myself. Well, let's see if you can see it, but um, the numbers are really small in there. So let's see if I can show you which one I'm pulling. This is really difficult. See, I'm looking to pull 11. I actually marked the the ones that I'm plugging in to the wiring harness. So, let's see. Which one am I plugging? Yeah, you gotta... It's 11. There it is right there. I ended up walking away. I figured I'd do this real quick to help people out. There's, so I marked 11 right there. What I did was I snapshot a picture and then tracked them down. You can see the numbers on them. And then I, uh, I did the, to show which pins um, did what. You can see 18. Um, you can see 19, uh, 10 was the one I spliced, um, so you can basically see everything that I did. Number 6 and uh, 11 is the last one I'm doing, which is right there. I didn't put 11 on the line up there, but... I'll pull 11 out. I'll show you how to do it here. So, uh, it's going to be right under 10. And what you do is you slide this in on that wire until it, you'll feel it click. If it doesn't click, twist it until it does. Okay, it just clicked. And then what you do, I don't know if you can see how I got it in there. What you do is you grab the wire.
if it doesn't come out. There it goes. See how it popped out? And you'll see how I got it. On the end of my fishing pole that I made. And then you got the port. You pull this off. And then you got the port that you need to put the wire into under there. Down there. So I'll put the other one in there. You can just push the other one in. It's a nightmare, man. Okay, I'll show you the outside of the uh, of where I put the uh, pull the pin out on 11, and you should be able to see it where I pulled that old pin out, and I'm putting a new pin. Now the 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 throttle pedal that I'm putting in they require gold the gold pins. So I got a gold, 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 gold. I've replaced all these. Okay, there is number 11. I just pulled that out. Now I'm showing you the video on it right there. I'll see if you can see where it says 11. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. Let me see. There it is. 11 right there I pull that pin out now I'll put the other pin the gold pin in and I'll show you when I get it put in that it is uh, that, that it's installed okay so <clears throat> I'm gonna find that 11 that I got here you can see I've got it right there that's 11 I got it marked and That pin that I pulled out. You can barely see 11 right there. But that port right there was where I pulled out 11. So I'm going to stick that. 11 in that port and then I'll show you on the firewall how it how it went through so you take the pin and it's kind of hard to do with a uh, holding the camera and shooting at this shooting and putting in so you just push it through You'll hear, you'll hear a click. You'll hear the dog too. So. so it clicked. And then you pull on it to make sure it's tight. Once you get it in there. Okay, and I'll show you on the other side. Then it's in the other side. So, on the other side of the firewall, in the engine compartment, you'll see that the gold pin right there was where I put it in, and that's a gold pin. The reason why you have to change this out is because the Caterpillar does not have a low idle sensor. It only has three, a three plug. This has a double two plug for a low idle sensor and the throttle up. And the ECM <clears throat> will not recognize it if you don't have it in. You get sporadic throttle pedal. It just doesn't work. You won't get any power out of your motor. So you have to replace this in your wiring harness when you replace the C12 for the Cummins. And if you don't have a wiring harness out of your original Cummins, then get one built, either at Mark Industries or uh, wherever you can get a wiring harness. But you might be able to get a VIN number off somebody else's truck that has a Cummins, same year, same model, and order a wiring harness. Uh, already made their $500. But, uh, Luckily, I had a wiring harness in my other 
uh, day cab FLD. Appreciate you watching my videos. Like me on YouTube. If you have any questions, uh, feel free. I'll try to get back to you and let you know anything on it. Have a good one.